Hello, dear users. In this video I will teach you how to download and install Network Administrator uh, Internet Cafe and Kiber Cafe management software uh, which is intended to um, monitor and administer Internet Cafe work and uh, has many features which we'll cover on later. My name is Artem and I'm going to show you how to uh, go through all the download and installation process. So let's open uh, netadminonline.com site. Uh, you may choose language, English, which is right here. Uh, language change, I have already opened it. Press download button. Uh, then save it somewhere. For example, I like to save new files on the desktop. While the program is downloading, I will uh, tell you that uh, you need administrator uh, computer and uh, several client computers. Administrator computer will, will show statistics of uh, usage of computers. Uh, you may control computers from administrator seat. You may uh, add time, calculate, uh, accounting, uh, do accounting and uh, many other tasks. Uh, and on the client computer uh, you have a restricted environment in which uh, users can only launch the programs which they are allowed to launch and uh, do the tasks only that you allow them to do. So they will not break something, uh, so you will not reinstall Windows and uh, many other features. So let's uh, Unzip the file. Here you will find an NA setup exe in inside. Uh, the program has a single installer, which is used both to install the client software and the server software. So let's choose uh, to run the installer. And then on the administrator seat you choose you want to choose netadmin server. Others uh, you don't touch for now because they are uh, for the client and for the NAT server which uh, is only used in several cases. Is so let's now only install netadmin server. You may install in program files uh, or to the root drive, or to the other drive, it doesn't matter. So after installation is completed, uh, you want to choose network administrator configuration. So this is the first window which appears uh, when you install in network administrator. Uh, here we have uh, users which are allowed to log in to administrator uh, desk. For now we don't touch them. Uh, you want to go to the uh, net uh, tab and uh, see the IP address of the server. This is the IP address which will uh, used to configure uh, to configure the clients if you need, and uh, we will uh, watch later. Uh, so now let's uh, quickly uh, quickly launch network administrator software. Uh, here we um, have to choose a user default user we have uh, 
I have shown you on the previous step. Default password is empty. So let's click OK, just OK. Uh, so here is a window for network administrator software, Internet Cafe software, which have, we have just installed. Uh, let's see the basic, uh, basic, uh, basic parts of the interface uh, which are we going to use. First of all, it is a, a table with computers. Uh, here are displayed different of uh, parameters of computers. Uh, how much time it is reserved on the computer, what user is now using the computer, when he will uh, the, his uh, session will start and end, uh, his uh, rate which he's going to pay, how much money he has to pay, what application he is running, uh, did, does he use the internet, and uh, so this is a basic work uh, desktop of uh, administrator. Uh, on the right hand it is a releasing list, so uh, uh, here are uh, all the displayed computers, but uh, they uh, show how much time it is left on different computers. We'll close it for now, so don't need it for now and uh, down here it is reservation list which shows uh, when does uh, certain computer is reserved you may reserve a computer for example when somebody is going to come in an hour or in two hours and you add reservations here and they will be automatically then added to the uh, this desktop this table uh, here we have the toolbar which has uh, all the basic functions you will need when using Network Administrator uh, interface. Uh, and the menu which also has all the features you will need. We will cover them as we go into work with Network Administrator. So, uh, the basic uh, uh, operation you will be doing is adding, for example, you need uh, somebody comes to Internet Cafe, he wants to use the Internet or to play games, and uh, you give some money and you press button begin session. Uh, here you have several options. Uh, to begin the session. Uh, first of all, uh, let us uh, use, uh, let us uh, show how to uh, how to set up a simple session. For example, you may uh, you know that he wants to play for an hour. You uh, press sixty minutes, and the application shows that he now owes you uh, two dollars. We have a rate set at two dollars per hour here. Later, I will show you how to change rate, how to edit rate. Uh, so this is the basic task of setting the time. Now the time is has started. Uh, you take two dollars, and now the duration of his time is shown the start time, the end time at which he will get up, uh, the rate, it is dynamic now, I will uh, tell you um, later what is what is means. We remember that it is just two dollars per hour discount, how much does he paid and in uh, brackets how much uh, uh, how much he or money he has left. Uh, username, it is empty for now, uh, service and application he is not running, and uh, not using internet. 
I, actually it is a proxy setting but I will cover it a little bit later <coughs> so the other uh, mean but by what you may uh, start the uh, session is uh, also press begin extend session and for example it gives you four dollars you press four in the cost field and now uh, internet cafe software uh, automatically set the time for uh, two hours press ok and two hour session is now started uh, this is the basic the basic types of uh, sessions you may uh, want to use them as a beginning. Uh, the other type of session is uh, post pay session, after payment session. I'm sorry. For example, you uh, here in some cases, for example, if you trust, uh, if you trust you, you user, you want to uh, give him, he tells you, okay, I will pay later, I will pay after I play after I use the internet uh, you trust him and uh, you tell him ok we'll pay later you just click after payment uh, and begin the session and the timer will now go in the opposite direction so when you uh, when he gets up you will tell him ok buddy you owe me now two dollars or four dollars if you uh, if he played an hour or two hours here in the paid field you will see how much uh, does he own, owe you and if you now want to uh, finish this uh, session he will owe you for example two dollars okay so this is the basic features of network administrator uh, software uh, which are covered you know, which we're going to cover in this video also I will tell you how to uh, do a basic configuration so uh, let us click the setup button and I will uh, in, br in brief uh, tell you about how to uh, change uh, for example uh, for example the rate of uh, per hour you tell ok I don't want two dollars per hour I uh, want for example uh, three dollars per hour or one dollar per hour ok you may change it uh, go to um, settings so I click this button settings, then uh, go to go to uh, extra tab, and then here you uh, uh, click the click the checkbox which is called uh, use dynamic taxes use dynamic rates I'm sorry use dynamic rates this will uh, cancel the dynamic rate in here and uh, uh, also you may change here the uh, the currency name or the currency symbol. For example, if it is not dollar, you may change it here. Uh, then go to strings tab and here uh, it is shown prices for time. And now we have two dollars. Example, I don't want two dollars. I want, for example, one dollar per hour. Okay. I price for time. I type one. Add to list. 
and press OK. After the configuration, we have changed the taxes. So uh, we're going now to cancel this demo. Uh, demo users and restart network administrator program. And now we have rate at one dollar per hour. For some example, we add time for sixty minutes. The cost will be one dollar per hour. Press OK, and you see that uh, now the rate has changed. For example, if I need several rates, uh, for example, I have. Uh, price uh, one dollar if you play games for example and uh, one dollar if you uh, use the internet I am um, adding going to settings prices for time and also add two dollars to the list and also add for example a service which I am going to name Internet. Okay, and notice that uh, the prices for Internet in here are actually the prices for, uh, for traffic, for pri prices for uh, for actually the uh, amount of downloaded files, uh, which uh, we're going not to touch now. We have prices for time, for price for uh, one hour, and services, games, and internet. Now restart Turk Administrator after we have configured it. And we are going to add, for example, some guys. Guy has, okay, I need. Uh, one hour to play games. We tell him, okay, one hour will be one dollar. Press OK. His computer is unblocked. And uh, he plays games. See here, games for one hour. Now the other guy came and tells you, okay, I want to play, uh, I want to serve the internet. Uh, and you choose internet here, service internet. And 60 minutes, the rate change rate to 2, and the cost will be $2. Press OK, and the rate is now $2 for the internet. So, uh, this is the basics. Maybe uh, you want to know more, so ask me. Uh, my contacts in the contact uh, page of the site. Uh, if you have some questions regarding this video tutorial or regarding some program features you don't understand, feel free to ask me questions and I will uh, and I will answer you. In, the, in other videos, we'll go into cover some advanced techniques. Uh, User Network Administrator software. For now, uh, I think it is enough. Uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe, download software, ask questions, and good luck to you.